Welcome to Lake Logan Martin in Pell City, Alabama for the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series Championship presented by Phoenix Boats. Hi everybody, Robbie Floyd joined by Program Director Kay Donaldson and this is it, the championship. An event where you can't pay to enter, you have to earn your way into this championship, Kate, and a lot is on the line. You know, it's the best of the teams from the north and the south. You've got collegiate teams, high school teams, couples teams. So much is on the line, $85,000 in both tournament boats as well as prizes. I mean, somebody's going to walk out of here with a Phoenix boat. You know, and it could change someone's life. I mean, especially if you're looking at those college kids and those high school students that are fishing this tournament. That's a life-changing event for them. And some of the other guys that fish with us, you know, they, they've been eyeing that boat for the last three days. They want to be the ones to be the last one standing. When, when everything's over, they want to be the last one in that boat. But this is a two-day tournament. This is the second day of competition. Day number one, they had a curveball thrown at them. A hurricane is actually supposed to make land tomorrow here in Alabama. So the Alabama Powers decided to lower the lake levels in preparation for all that rain that they just don't know how much they're going to get. So let's take a look back at day number one and see how they caught them. And boy, did they catch them. Finally got him. Not too shabby. folks 2017 ABT championship here on Lake Logan Martin with my good buddy Harry <laughs> brother it is the first weekend of October temperature wise right now is you know we're down in the 60s in the mornings and we're gonna get up to around 80 in the afternoons bright bluebird skies big full moon last night what's this gonna do to these guys on a Friday Saturday tournament should be good fishing <laughs> <laughs> it really I mean you couldn't ask for a better day sure it's beautiful the water's good, just a little breeze. The water temperature I see now is in the uh, low 70s. Yeah. So the water's dropping down some. Fish should be starting to move. I don't think they're all back into real shallow water yet. But right. They're, they're moving up. It should be a really good tournament. What's it going to take for two days? Two-day tournament. What's it going to take for somebody to bring home that new Phoenix bass boat? I'm going to go about 25 to 26 pounds. Really? For two, two days? days. 26 for two days. Okay. I had low 30s in mind, but I may go 29.03. How's yeah, that sound? You always like the upper end. You don't well, ever know. Well, you know, I'm, I'm giving the guys the benefit of the doubt. I mean, <laughs> sure, you, you sure. look at who's in this tournament. 177 boats. This is the best of the best exactly. in the state of Alabama and surrounding states. Well, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find a few guys catching them, and y'all stay tuned. We'll see what they do. Well, they ain't unlucky socks either. <laughs> They're finally getting big. How many you got? We got a call. We already got a limit. Oh. Well, excuse me. Good one. Fish. Uh, we had a few key fish that come off early this morning that would have helped out a lot, but besides that, I mean, we executed every bite we got except for, like I said, two or three. Okay. But just nothing, no size besides those two. Uh, it was hard. We caught 50 fish okay. and, and got nine pounds. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're fishing places that historically have got big ones. We're throwing big baits. 
we're just catching little fish? Uh, well, I mean, uh, me and him has been fishing together so long. Usually when both of us are thinking the same thing, it turns out good. So, uh, you know, I was we was on a little bank with some wind blowing. And I looked at him, I said, you know what I'm thinking? He said, spinner bait. And I said, I see it. <laughs> So with day one in the books, 177 boats prepare for the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series Championship final day. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, and by Wind Creek Casino, where you can have your winning moments. There's more to come. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you're spinning, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious, hot Alabama nights. Wing Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetunka. Find your winning moment. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. You've witnessed the action, the thrill, and the competition of the Alabama Bass Trail. Isn't it time you got involved? Coming in 2018, over $47,000 paid out for each event. No entry fee championship, 85 grand up for grabs, plus a new Phoenix. More than half a million in cash and prizes. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Sign up now by logging on to alabamabasstrail.org. The Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series, presented by Phoenix Bass Boats. All right, Harry, here we are, day two. Alabama Bass Trail Championship. Logan Martin Lake yesterday, full moon, bright blue bird skies. Today, hurricane, whatever the last one is, coming through. <laughs> yeah. We see some bands of it coming in now. It's warmer today than what it was yesterday, a little more humid. Right. We got overcast. Saw a bunch of limits come in yesterday, some pretty decent weights. I still think I'm winning the weight race here. But oh, let's, but let's talk about what, <laughs> what is this doing to guys today? Well, Yesterday seemed to me that it was several patterns. As we, every time we pulled to a boat, somebody was doing something a little different. Sure. And they was and during the weigh in yesterday also showing you the different patterns. They wouldn't tell you what, but they were doing sure. something. I think they're gonna continue it. The they're supposed to pull a lot of water today now. We forgot right. about that. We, right. we heard they're gonna get for a wintering pool and what have you. Alabama Power is starting to pull it down a little bit. I think it dropped about nine inches overnight. You're right. That's what I've been hearing, and they're pulling current all day, which for a weekend, that's kind of uh, not really what they do. So it's, it, right. it could play into the favor of a lot of guys. Yes, a lot of them worried about that. Well, at the dock this morning for blast off, sure. they were talking about that, sure. worried what it was going to do to their fish, whether it move them out too far, whether it bunch them up closer or whatever. Right. So really, they just going to have another good practice morning, I think. Sure. Well, they got to find days. it. Practice day is the last day. Somebody's going right. to take on a brand new Phoenix boat. Top three are within a half pound of each other. Yeah. Then we drop down to a few guys kind of jumbled up at 15 pounds. Right. And a bunch of guys at 13 and so forth on down. So 
I mean, really, I'm thinking top five. It's anybody's ball game today. Maybe top ten. Top ten. I'm with that too. It's very possible, especially with that water drawdown. Sure. You know, they, they've got to find where their fish are. Well, big news is somebody's taking home a new Phoenix boat today. A beautiful, to beautiful. Find out, find out who it's going to be. I gotta think too that there's a lot of guys that fish this lake quite often and they're running a lot of places that may be fishing history. They're beginning to move out. I think they're, like you were talking about, they done heard them voices between their ears and stuff and now they might be thinking, hey, I need to remember when this water was down or as it's falling, where I need to go. Sure, and a two day event like this, there's a lot that can happen. Overnight, you're exactly. And a lot of things that you're gonna have to overcome to to, 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 to make Agreed. it work. So. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats. We'll be right back. road trips and some of the best are outdoors like a trip to Lake Gunnersville first stop on the Alabama Bass Trail catch anything nice or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail 468 holes of golf heaven what's the time say best public golf on the planet Alabama's got a hundred road trips plan yours at alabama.travel which one you gonna take Each week on the Alabama Bass Trail, we do a community spotlight. And this week, we're gonna visit an attraction called the Coosa Queen here in Pale City. Um, yeah, we started the business in 2011. Um, basically, it came about because we live on a houseboat and my husband entertained lots of parties um, on a weekend basis. We kind of seen how much fun everybody was having on the lake um, and there's really not a lot of ways for people to get out and about unless they own a boat. So um, we decided that we would start a business to kind of get people out on the lake and um, entertaining, let them have events. And he's ordained, so he does weddings. But I was thinking it would be just a leisure you know, let's start off doing dinner cruises like every Friday night and see how that goes and then build it up to maybe Wednesdays and Fridays. It took off like wildfire. So how can folks get a hold of you or where can they find you? 
The best way is to check out the Coosa Queen's Facebook page. Um, you can do so by searching Coosa Queen, the simple Coosa Queen. Um, and if you click on our About section in there, it gives you all the information about our um, private rental. And when you're at Logan Martin Lake or Pell City, Alabama, you can't leave without stopping at Louie's. My mother was from Tennessee and my dad's from Kentucky and so I was raised in southern cooking. So we, we, we cook good, nutritional, delicious food, reasonable price, beautiful atmosphere. We've been at this facility, well we've lived here for 27 years and uh, it used to be a training farm. We moved from Michigan and South Carolina. We had horses at the Birmingham Race Course. So this is where we live, and we opened up a restaurant here where we live. We're open Wednesday through Saturday. We open at five, and then we close when the last one leaves. And now let's get back out on the water and see what the anglers have in store for us. Mid-morning, and mm -hmm. we've seen guys still kind of like yesterday. Some are up shallow, some are out a little deeper. Some are fishing some shallow humps and this and that, but I, we've seen a lot more run around. Yes, exactly. And by looking at the bank, I mean, it's evident water did fall last night. Right. And I know there's a handful of guys that watch that water fall and they plan for it. There's a lot of guys that they may have heard it, they didn't listen to it. Once you find a go try your shallow water, top water, or whatever, mm -hmm. move it, there's no bites. Why do you want to stay with it? Sure. You sure. need to back off or, or yep. rethink something. Well, we saw some guys fishing in shallow top water this morning. Yes. And you and I both saw what they didn't see. Right. Fish were out in the middle of the pocket behind us. Yeah. So obviously we can't tell them that, but that's just something you got to put your head down and just keep grinding and figure out what's going on. E it? Even when you yeah, say it was that last boat we went to, mm -hmm. he was in the back of a little shallow pocket. Right. He caught a short fish. Look like a buzz bait, some right. type of top water. When he turned around to leave, he said, I, I would have out a little slower and I had my eye on my dash. Sure. To see what I could see if I'm not doing anything up shallow. Sure. To me, I got to think, I got to feel that this water drop, these guys heard it, they didn't listen to it, <laughs> and it's starting to play into a few guys' minds. I think so. They, they, they don't know what to do. Sure. It, you're not confused, but uh, you begin to second guess yourself. Sure. Well, let's go find some more folks, see what else is going on. Love to. See some fish. all these different lakes, you know, you got to be versatile and you know yeah. when to adapt and change. That's the biggest thing right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Hopefully we can get them bigger than that. <laughs> Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, Wind Creek Casino, and by Garmin. There's more to come. Let's get down to business. Hey. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Greg Hackney. 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. 
and it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Lights are dazzling, shining bright. The busy hum permeates the air. It's electric. With a dash of spice, you kick up the heat until you spin it, twirling on your feet. Sweat it out. The thrill of the game, the high of the night. The sizzle of temptation, the intoxication of sensation, and just like that, it's another ending to your glorious hot Alabama night. Wind Creek Casino and Hotel in Montgomery or Wetumpka. Find your winning moment. Are you done yet? Does it look like I'm done? Shouldn't you be at work? Shouldn't you be at work? Todd. Hold on. This ball. Your real bike's all fixed. And you guys are good. Well, we are the number one motorcycle insurer in the country. <laughs> Wait, you have a real motorcycle? And real insurance with 24-hour customer support. <laughs> well, I retire as champion. Game hog. Champion. How did they go? Uh, it was a, we caught a lot of fish. It was a good day, but we just didn't catch any size today. So, you know, Logan Martin's a great lake. You can tell that if there's 160 limits weighed in, everybody caught fish. You know, the whole key to this lake is getting that good bite, and we just didn't get a good bite this, or today. We got them all yesterday. You know, we really thought the weather would make it better for us, but it actually, we was trying to catch them on a spinner bait early and then going dock fishing up my day, but it just didn't pan out for us. Yeah, we caught a couple, it just wasn't the size, still wasn't the size we wanted to catch, so uh, just kept mixing it up all day, but if we had any big bites, we lost them. Today was a lot different. Uh, a lot of our size went away and numbers showed up, but the quality wasn't there. Scott, anything you done different today? Uh, man, I don't know. We struggled with um, staying with our game plan and with them dropping the water and going out deep. Um, all day long, we went out deep a few times, but every time we'd go out deep, we'd just catch little ones that didn't help, even with a small bag. And so, you know, with me and him, our strength is uh, shallow, and we knew if we stood any chance of winning, you know, we needed to stick with what we know and, and uh, what we do. So that's what we did most of the day, and it just didn't work out for us. We had a few looks, a few maybe opportunities, missed opportunities, I guess you could call them, that might have might have possibly got us there, depending on what happens today, but, you know, that's fishing. I'll tell you about today. Well, as far as fish numbers, I bet we caught more today than we did yesterday. But execution early this morning, a three to three and a half pounder jumped off and another good one. But the difference today and yesterday was the bigger fish were eating it. Today they were just slapping at it. We were throwing crankbaits and they were just, everyone we hooked was under the mouth. Um, it was really, really tough today. Not a lot of bites, not any big bites today. We didn't, we didn't catch a lot of fish at all. Were you able to score a limit? Yes, we did. Pretty early on, we had a very small limit first thing this morning. So, From that, were you able to upgrade it all throughout the day? Uh, we probably called out four or five times, but um, it was tough. We just didn't get any big bites. I mean, we know the fish are there. We kind of waited on them all day. They just didn't turn on. I don't know um, what happened, but uh, it was just overall a lot tougher day and, you know, really lucky to have, I guess, what we had yesterday. And we'll just see if we got enough today to hold on. $17.99 on day one. Butler and Tate bring their fish to the scales. They need 10.23 pounds, and we're going to have to reweigh. They splashed. Suspense. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's set this up one more time. The day one leaders, Josh Butler, Jeb Tate, had $17.99. They need 10.23 to take the lead. Hit it. 12-28, we've got a new champion. Butler and Tate take it. Collie and Bain shake their hands as they exit the stage. We'll finish runner-up at the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Series Championship. And how does it feel 
This is your water. You win a tour stop here on the ABT, and you come back and win the championship a couple years later. I'm going to lose for words. I don't know. It's special. Guys, I'm going to admit, when y'all called in today, I don't know if you were sandbagging me or what, but you didn't seem real excited. No, it was a tough day. I mean, you know, we ended up having a little over 12, and, uh, you know, I knew this lake was fishing tough, and before the tournament I said 30 pounds would get it, and I knew we had at it. But with two bags that weighed in 1750-plus yesterday along with us, um, I thought we had blown it. Obviously, you're in the Phoenix. What's the plan for the new Phoenix on the other side of the stage? I don't know. It's going to be an interesting ride home. Uh, he's boatless right now, so uh, that's a perfect one for him to uh, get behind the wheel on for sure. It looked like it fit him pretty well. Absolutely it did. <laughs> now, and, you know, that passenger seat wasn't too bad. I think I could get used to that. Uh, I, he's my driver. I, I can't. I just can't do it. A lot of struggles for those top ten teams for most, but not our day one leaders. I mean, you have to feel good for them taking this victory. You know, I know they came into this tournament with one win behind them, but this is the one they wanted to get. They want to take that championship home, and to do it on what I guess they would call their home lake is pretty cool. They're great competitors. They compete in lots of different trails, but they always make it a priority to be in the Alabama Bass Trail, and we're really glad for that. All right, we close out 2017. Look forward to 2018. The south field is filled up. The north is closing in fast. Yes, it is, and what I would say is if you take a look at those top 10 teams that we weighed in this afternoon, a lot of those guys are first-time Alabama Bass Trail competitors, so um, if you're thinking you can't do it, come on out here. Put put your time in, and I promise you, uh, good things will happen. Well, congratulations to the Anglers of the Year in the North. Mitch Mitchell, Candler McCollum on their victory. Chris Rutland and Kobe Carton, the ABT Angler of the Year in the South. And rounding out the year, the 2017 ABT Tournament Series champions, Josh Butler and Jeb Tate. On behalf of Kay Donaldson, I'm Robbie Floyd. We'll see you next time in 2018 right here on Fox Sports Southeast.